Let's use neuroplasticity to overcome tinnitus. First of all, yes, we can reverse, reduce, and completely get rid of tinnitus. This is all possible, and neuroplasticity explains why. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you something to play around with. But first, let's talk about what is neuroplasticity, what is tinnitus, what's the connection? Tinnitus are sounds that we hear in our body and they're neurons, so neural cells that are communicating through neural networks somewhere between our ears, our midbrain, our auditory cortex, and potentially other reflex sort of pathways in our body. So it's a neural signal that we're hearing and no one else hears it. It can be incredibly debilitating, distressing, you name it, right? Neuroplasticity is our body's capacity to change those neural connections. In other words, if we have a tinnitus loop cycling on repeat, making sound in our body, the way to overcome it, reverse it, reduce it, eliminate it is to change that neural link, right? We want to we want to remove the emphasis and the number of nerve cells or neurons communicating in that link. So we want to pull the neurological attention away from that tinnitus signal. So what we need to do is rather than focus on tinnitus or focus on getting rid of it or focus on overcoming it, which is all a lot of the traditional or our sort of go-to strategies will be, this is driving me crazy. How can I get rid of it? That emphasis keeps tinnitus front and center. And when we think about tinnitus, even if the thoughts are get rid of it, I hate it, we're telling our body, hey, body, create more of that neural loop because I'm so interested in my tinnitus. I'm talking about it. I'm buying products for it. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Tinnitus, tinnitus, tinnitus. So what we need to do is to actually de-emphasize and neutralize the tinnitus. So emotionally, our relationship to tinnitus needs to really pull back. And we want to put it into the irrelevant, unhelpful neither here nor their zone. So we're pulling away the emotional loading. That's easier said than done, but it's possible and I can support you with that. What we really want to do is to give the brain something else to emphasize. So if the tinnitus loop is really taking up a lot of your neurological capacity and resource, we want to hijack those neurons and give them a new job. So for those of you who are watching right to the end and you want something to play with at home, I want you to think about, you know, what really matters to me? What are my values? What do I want to feel? In other words, what neural pathways do I want to emphasize in my body? And I want you to do a little brainstorm at home. Start to get to know yourself because remember, recovery from tinnitus is more than anything a coming home to ourselves and to our body. We're coming back into our sensuality where we learn to feel our body again instead of fight, flight, freeze, fawn and reject what we hear and feel in our body. So part of healing the tinnitus and overcoming it is shifting that neurological attention into what you want to feel. Think about your values, think about what really matters to you and think about the sensations you want in your body and then brainstorm ways that you can playfully activate those desired sensations. You know, if, if you love to be outdoors and feel the wind on your cheeks, get out and ride your bike or, you know, I love bird sounds. In what ways can I be in nature and listening out for new birds? So we're actually shifting our attention through the passageway of desire and pleasure. We're reawakening new neural signals that are actually hijacking the tinnitus sounds and putting that neurological energy into new neural loops. As you do this more often and you get you maintain a sustainable neuroplasticity practice and way of life, you will actually eliminate the tinnitus altogether. Your body will put no energy there. You won't hear it anymore and you'll be out there following whatever it is that's calling you, what matters to you, your values and these desired sensations. Joy and pleasure actually become the medicine. So play around with that. What are your values? What matters to you? What do you desire to feel? And if you want community support, the Rocksteady program gives you a really solid methodology for exploring this for yourself. It's a bye for now.